Hey Kim, it's Melissa and William. Um, we just want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for doing a picture for our son Zachary. It means so much to us. Yeah, it means a lot. I was very surprised when Mel told me about it and she showed me the video. And that really means a lot to us. You know, it's been a, a hard time lately and you know, we're sticking together and, and getting through it as a family. But um, it's a really sweet sentiment and we really appreciate it. Yeah. Um, We've had a hard year. <laughs> William just came home from deployment in the end of March. That was our first year of marriage. Um, we got married March 2nd of 2005. And March 29th of 2005, he deployed and he came home in the end of March. So, at the beginning of April, we were filing together. And um, we were really surprised when we were pregnant with Zachary. And um, it took a lot to to get pregnant and, and it was a surprise and a wonderful surprise. And we had uh, gotten past the, the danger area and we weren't expecting to lose them. So it's just, it's been a trying year. And this generosity just overwhelmingly um, means so much to us. Sorry about that, I had to take a quick moment. Um, in June, uh, William's grandfather died. In July, we were in Ireland, and um, I got a phone call from my ex-husband to indicate to let me know that my my aunt died. So I flew down to North Carolina a little early and um, to help my mom. She's going through a hard time. So I flew back, and um, we had a routine OB-GYN appointment on August 2nd. And um, our son came because it was just a routine OBGYN, and I felt back re the day before. <laughs> so I thought everything was fine. And we were in our second trimester, and um, I remember in the room, and she said she couldn't hear the heartbeat. So after she could hear the heartbeat, um, we had to go to Heidelberg because they didn't have sonogram capability here in Mannheim, and that's about a 30 minute drive. So, Jared was still with us, and um, the doctor before us kept saying, everything's fine, don't worry, you know, everything's fine, it's just probably an issue, but I knew in my heart something was wrong. And so we did the um, sonogram, and they kind of rushed me in, so I really didn't have much of a choice, and I didn't want to leave Jared alone in the room, so Jared was in the room. And she was dumbfounded, she didn't say a word when she was doing the sonogram, nothing, and I finally had to say, what do you see? And then... Um, I don't remember his words because I was so much in shock. Well, she just said how everything was, was perfect. perfect. Everyone, was, everything was the way it was developed the way it should have been, but they just didn't see the heart beating. And it just happened. I said it happened within uh, two or three days. So she couldn't tell us when it happened, and um, so she called in the doctor, and the doctor said I had two choices: either I could wait and do in labor, or we could um, induce labor. Yeah. So they sent me home, and um, Jared was in the room, our son, and, and William was there, and we all started crying. <laughs> I think I went into, um, I don't know, I can't even describe what stage I went into. I just locked myself in a bedroom and cried. And William had to call everybody, and let everybody know, so he had to be the strong one. So we decided that we were going to induce the labor. So the next morning we called and they said to come on in. And one of my dearest friends, Nicolette, took Jared because I couldn't imagine him being in there. We really didn't think it'd be that long. So um, she took Jared in and uh, we went to the hospital and I just remember wanting to run. <laughs> and William had to hold me pretty much just to help me walk through the door. It was really hard. So um. We go in a room, and uh, the nurse was really sweet, and um, she was really good. We had a good nurse in the beginning. We had a great nurse in the beginning, and uh, they told us after they induced my labor that we were not allowed to have our son's ashes after we delivered him. In Germany, uh, all remains cremated or non-cremated uh, must be in a cemetery. Uh, you can't keep them like you can in the States. So we had to either keep him in a German cemetery or make arrangements to bring him back to the States. 
<laughs> so we talked to Mel's parents, and they were loving and kind enough to fly over to Germany and, uh, and get the remains of Zachary. Uh, that took a while to mm-hmm. process. Yeah, it was a long process. But Zachary's not with us. Um, I'll show you what we have here for him right now. But um, he's with my parents, which I'm very thankful for. And my mom actually has his... Uh, He's still in the box that he came home. Um, there's a, a video on my site where he was born home with my parents, and um, he's still in that box. And she put a picture of me and William, and a picture of his brother Jared. So we're kind of with him right now. So it's kind of sweet of her. It's something my mom. She's an incredible lady. And so is my dad because they went so far to come get their grandson. They did. They did so much. They did. He's in a loving home until we can get back to the States and make them part of the family again. Yeah. But um, labor was 27 hours. Um, I didn't get to deliver Zachary until August 4th. And um, we got to spend a couple hours with him, which was wonderful. He was really tiny. He was the size of... He was that size. From the tip of my finger to my thumb. Yeah. He was beautiful. He had little tiny feet, and he was gorgeous. And... um. So it was nice, and we had someone come in and say a blessing for him, and so, yeah, even though he's gone, he's in my heart. He's in our heart. He's in all of our hearts, so thank you so much for... Thank you so much. <laughs> so appreciate your generosity. It is, so thank you. One second. Sorry for that. Um, I just wanted to show you when we are back in the States, because in the meantime, he's going to, um, I have a special place for him, but... This is Zachary's urn that we're going to transfer him into when we go back to the States. It's a mother holding a baby. And um, so I will make sure that when we get the portrait and we're back in the States that we will put it next to him. So thank you so much. Love you. Thanks. Thank you.